Genius Group Limited, through its subsidiaries, provides entrepreneur education system business development tools and management consultancy services to entrepreneurs and entrepreneur resorts. The company operates through two segments, education and campus. Its courses, products, and services form a full entrepreneur education curriculum together with a full suite of tools for students. Why am I telling you this? Well, it's also the top stock mover for the week, with a one-week change of over 400%. In most cases, and also my initial reaction after seeing that, I will consider shorting the stock the following week because generally, you know, after a quick surge, retail investors like to sell off some of those shares to recoup their profits. And I was planning to go ahead and short the stock, short the stock until I stumbled across some interesting information. Here is why I changed my mind on shorting the stock. Welcome to Money Talk Sunnies. I'm your host, Stevie B. For those tuning in via your favorite streaming platform, hit that like, share, subscribe button. You can also subscribe to the Money Talk Sunday's podcast. The link will be down in the description box. For those viewing on YouTube, hit that like, share, and subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell to receive alerts of new videos dropping. So again, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Anyways, moving on. Naked Shorty is the illegal practice of short-selling shares that have not been affirmatively determined to exist. Normally, before selling a stock short, traders must either borrow it or verify that it may be borrowed. Therefore, the term naked shorting refers to short pressure on a company that may be greater than the market's tradable shares. By repeating that process again and again, bad actors can generate massive profits and manipulate a stock's price lower with an ultimate goal of driving a company to bankruptcy, at which point all the equity is wiped out and the naked shorts no longer need to be covered. Now, due to regulatory gaps and differences between paper and electronic trading platforms, naked shorting persists even though it was made illegal following the financial crisis of 2008-2009. Now, this in of itself is not novel. In reality, Wall Street bets and meme stocks became very popular as a result of Firms engaging in this strategy. Popular mean stocks, GameStop, and AMC are just two examples of businesses that were under pressure. Once retail investors discovered what was going on, they came together to support their beloved businesses. Now, enter Genius Group Limited. Shares of Genius Group skyrocketed 290% on Thursday alone after they appointed a former FBI director to investigate naked short selling of its stock while also issuing a special dividend to help flush out the crooks. Now, volume of 197.76 million shares were traded and crushed the 65-day average of just 634,017. Hmm. Now, Timothy Murphy, a former deputy director of the FBI and current board member of Genesis Group, will serve as the task force leader. It will consist of Roger Hamilton, the CEO of Genius Group, and Richard Berman, who is also a Genius Group director and serves as the, as the committee's chair. Now, after the financial crisis, the SEC prohibited naked short selling in the U.S. in 2008. Only naked shorting is prohibited. Other forms of short selling are not included. Now, before this, uh, this restriction, this SEC changed Regulation SHO to reduce the possibility of naked shorting by closing 2007 loopholes that certain brokers and dealers had used. The publication of lists that monitor equities with exceptionally high trends and failing to deliver or FTDs shares is mandated by Regulation SHO. Now, as mentioned previously, the news set the share price up over 200% on Thursday and an additional 59% on this past Friday. About 270 million shares traded in Thursday's trading session, another indicator of wrongdoing, according to CEO Roger Hamilton, given that the company's flow is just 10.9 million shares. Hmm, big difference, right? Now, Genius Group says they have proof that some people and or businesses sold but failed to deliver a considerable or substantial amount of its shares as part of a scheme to artificially reduce the stock price from Warshaw Burstein LLP and Christian Levine Law Group with tracking from Share Intel. Now, according to Hamilton, Share Intel 
uses tracking tools in real time to identify precisely where there are market differences and where brokers are opening sizable positions. As per Hamilton, the software has identified numerous occasions where sizable numbers of fictitious shares were being produced. It can measure the quantity of shares that are being naked shorted. According to the data acquired by Genius Group, a significant amount of illegal activity takes place on American exchanges, but there is also activity taking place off exchange and using dark pools. Hamilton is vowing to fight back against this industry practice, calling the entities involved predators. They're taking value away from our shareholders. They're predators. They're doing something illegal and we want it to stop. Whether that means getting regulators to enforce existing regulations or put new ones in place. Again, this is not new. GameStop and AMC dealt with this. Another example is Torchlight. Torchlight is an oil and gas exploration company that decided to merge with Meta Material Incorporated to thwart a naked short selling attack against them. That stock rose from $0.30 cents to $11 in the six months after the deal was completed, and the company was able to raise about $183 million through a combination of convertible debt and equity. More and more companies are now joining in on this campaign, this fight, to combat naked short selling. Jeremy Frommer, CEO of Created Incorporated, which aims to unlock creativity for creators, Brands Consumers, who is behind CEO Block, a website that aims to end the practice of naked short selling. On Friday, the stock of Hellbiz Incorporated, HLBZ, joined Genius Group and rocketing higher in volume after that company said it too was taking on naked short sellers. The New York-based maker of e-scooters and e-bicycles said that it was following Genius Group's example and that it believes certain individuals and or companies may have engaged in illegal short-selling practices that have artificially depressed the stock price. The stock had plummeted 64% over the three months through Thursday's close at $12.31. Even Mullet Automotive shareholders are banding together to petition against market manipulation and illegal short selling. At this time, that petition has over 2,300 signatures. The new petition asks Mullen and CEO David Mishery to create a task force against market manipulation similar to how Genius did. In the comments of the petition, shareholders are adamant that something sinister is going on. In particular, they reference dark pool trading and the ignorance of the U.S. SEC. According to Fintel, a total of 35.8 million shares of Mullen automotive stock failed to be delivered in December. 35.8 million shares failed to be delivered. The volume of shares that were unable to be delivered rose substantially during the end of the month. So, yeah. Considering this information, seeing what's going on, I will not be shorting this stock this week despite the impressive gains over the past week. I will wait for the outcome of this investigation and wait for the dust to settle before playing around with this stock. I don't support the act of short selling. As a retail investor, I can't even enact that scenario, but market makers and brokers dealers can. Broker dealers can. It's ethically immoral and reprehensible. That's it. Wall Street bets, retail investors, meme investors, whatever you want to call them, whatever you want to call us, I say we band together and we help out Genius Group Limited, we help out Mullen Automotive, and we fight, we fight the eradication of these companies, these startups that are doing what they're doing to make a world a better place. My name is Stevie B. Thank you for tuning in for Money Talk Sundays. Happy trading.